Welcome to my channel No It Free. So knowledge is free for everyone. That's right. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to configure a web browsers to use a uh, suppose as your firewall as an proxy server. So uh, and also I will show you how to change the default proxy port that's a three one two eight to another port number like eight zero eight zero. So let's start it. Okay, this is my card machines, and I'm going to use Firefox Mozilla. Okay, once this opens, I use go options, and then advance, and then network, and then click on settings. There you have find the option manual proxy configuration. So my proxy server IP is 10.1.9.200, and the port is 312, which is the default one. And then I click OK. Okay, and this, and then just try to access some website like www.google.com. So here it is. We can access the Google site. So let's try to search something else like Tiger and see if we can access that site also. Okay, now we check that. The traffic is logged into the world, so force exit firewall or not. So we just now logging into our suppose firewall by default username admin and we will need to put our passwords. Just log in. And here is our dashboard. Now we go to current activities and then go to the live connections. So you see the, all the live connections like DNA and source of protocol as a source of the protocol. If you expand that, this will show you the more details and also the total connections. So if you click the secure socket connection, that will give us the, all the details which are using the SSL. So here's my source IP address. So let's check uh, confirm our source IP address once time. Open the command prompt. Type IP config. Here is my client IP 10.1.8.62. So I just filter my logs by using the source IP address, and here it is. So you can see that the time, the interface which this IP is sending the request, the source IP destination, protocol, source port, and the destination port, and the how much traffic we are uploading, download. The live users show the live user connections when you use a authenticate with the proxy server. We are not going to use that one right now, so it is not showing anything. Okay. okay, now click on the web options and then we go to the advanced. There you find the web proxy listening port. So default is 3128. So here we you can change, your, uh, you can give any port that you need. I give 8080 as a custom port, then apply. So it's giving message web advanced setting has been updated successfully. Now let's check out into our client machine that the setting is applied successfully or not. So I'm trying to access web page but it is not accessing since we already changed the port from 3128 to 8080. So what we need to do is now we need to reconfigure our web browser proxy setting to the default port, uh, sorry, to the New port that's 8080 and then click OK and now let's try again. Okay, so it is trying to access the site here. We uh, are able to access the site successfully, so the new settings are applied successfully. So now, if you go to the current activity, live connections, and uh, the source IP. Then this is my the client IP addresses and these are the, all the connections which initiated by my client. See, 
is also so good and Wikipedia web page it has a three connection to Wikipedia web page and then you can see there's a destination port is 8080 and also upload and download bandwidth stream and this is passed by the rule one which is the default rule for suppose firewall okay now we revert back to the setting to the default port that's a 3128 and then apply it so the setting has been updated successfully now we go to our client machine again and then revert back our setting to the default port that's it so this is how we can change the proxy port on the suppose SGX firewall and then we can again revert back to the default port setting I hope you like this video and you enjoy also this video so please be tuned to my channel for more videos on suppose XG firewall have a nice day and please do subscribe my channel thank you